Hey, how's it going everybody? Cub fan here. Welcome to my house and also uh yeah, welcome to a setup video for my new computer. Some of you recently know, uh on Twitter and Facebook if you've been following me, I have ordered parts for a new computer and they've all now arrived and are ready to be put into the case. So I'm gonna do a quick setup video here showing sort of what parts I have and then I'll also show it once I'm done setting it up, what it looks like in the case and yeah, how quickly it runs. So let's turn around the camera here. And we will see uh, some of the gear we got here. Very nice. So I'm going to go through sort of each component individually. And yeah, we'll see exactly uh, what each component is. So first of all, let's start here with this power supply. Boom, right there. So we got the uh, Seasonic uh, Series 750 watt power supply. Um, it is a modular cable, cable power supply. So that means uh, it's quite versatile. You can do a lot of different things with it and uh, the cables are sort of individualized so that's what that means so that's the power supply there uh, next up uh, let's take a look at the case actually uh, so the case uh, right here it's a Corsair Obsidian Series 450D uh, it's kinda cool it has two fans let me just pop this off so we can see it uh, so it has two fans on the front those are intake fans and it has like a, uh, a nice little mesh in the front here as well to keep dust out. So let me see if I can put this back in there. And I can't. <laughs> Tough to do with one hand. There we go. Did I get it? Ah, screw it. Alright, so I'll put that back on, but uh, yeah, you can see the case here. Uh, in the back there is a one fan output. Um, your motherboard, all your connections will go in this slot right here. Um, and then we have, you know, a bunch of expansion bays and the power supply goes right in here. So that is the Corsair case. Um, and so, uh, moving on, let's go to the processor. Processor is right here. Intel Core i7-4790. Uh, i7 is the most recent generation of processors. Um, um, so yeah, it's going to be pretty pretty decent uh, quad core. Uh, they do have eight cores, but I figured uh, since I'm not going to be doing overclocking, the quad core was probably enough for me. Uh, and I got the i7 over the i5 because the i7 uh, is quite a bit better at stuff like video rendering, so that should be pretty good for me. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got a Seagate hard drive. It's a three terabyte hard drive. It's still in the packaging. I'm not going to take it out quite yet, but it's three terabytes, uh, 7200. 7200 RPMs, which is quite quick for a hard drive. RAM, we got 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, we got the Rip Jaws series from G Skill. Um, this RAM runs at 2133 megahertz, uh, 2133 megahertz, which is significantly faster than normal RAM. So that should be super fast um, RAM. Of course, we got the Windows 8.1, uh, the full version. So that's going to be good. Also got the um, solid state hard drive from Crucial, the MX100. Um, solid state drives are significantly faster than uh, normal hard drives, so like this this type of hard drive here. Um, so this should be blazing fast, which is awesome. Next we got the motherboard <coughs> with the MSI uh, Z97 G45 gaming motherboard. Pretty standard motherboard. Um, has some additional features, but yeah, basically motherboards are pretty much all the same. Um, like I said, it has four RAM slots. Uh, that's basically all you really need. Um, spot for the graphics card. It's not really anything too special, but uh, yeah, that's it's a pretty decent uh, motherboard. Over here we got the graphics card. We got the uh, GTX 970, GeForce GTX 970. Uh, it's one of the best cards you can get currently. Uh, three and a half gigabytes of some of the best RAM you can get, and then half a gigabyte that is pretty junk, but <laughs> still. Uh, it's not too bad of a card. Um, I thought about getting the 980, but it was a bit too expensive for me. Um, so yeah, we got this with the four gigabytes of RAM. It's an Asus, so hopefully it'll be quite uh, quite uh, yeah, silent in terms of like the noise it makes. Uh, you can see, sort of see the card right there. That's sort of what it looks like. Uh, you can see it has some sort of like heat dissipation stuff in it and some fans on top. Dual fans. Keyboard. Uh, keyboard, we're going to go with this Razer Death Stalker, <laughs> I guess. 
Uh, it's a backlit keyboard. There's green LEDs behind it. Uh, it's just a pretty standard keyboard. The one thing I like about it, it has this sort of um, front to it where you can like lay your wrists. Um, right now I'm currently using a um, a keyboard that's just like a stock keyboard from uh, the HP I have. Also we have a heat sink. Uh, Evo 212 Hyper from Cooler Master. And yeah, ODD from Asus. Let's see, we got the monitor here. It's a 24 inch Asus monitor. You just come around the back here. See the connections there. We got HDMI. So power supply, HDMI, DVI, uh, VGA, and something else. I'm not quite sure what that is, but yeah, that's it right there. 24 inch monitor. Um, the one I have right now is a Samsung 23 and a half inch. So I, I might be able to do like a dual monitor setup. But we'll just have to wait and see. As far as some of the current stuff I have that I'll be using with this uh, new computer, uh, I have the Blue Yeti microphone with the pop filter on it right there. So, yeah, there's the microphone there. Uh, it has a nice base, a nice solid base to it. Pretty much all metal. Um, and, yeah, the uh, thing I like about this is you can sort of maneuver the microphone as you want. Uh, you also have volume control directly on here. And you also have some uh, some uh, microphone settings here directly on the mic, so you have different sort of audio profiles here, and you have a direct uh, control over your gain on your microphone. So that's sort of like how much um, or what what level your microphone begins to um, pick stuff up at. So this is a really great microphone. I highly recommend it to anybody who's um, Getting started in like podcasts or gaming, it's really, really great. Definitely recommend it. The only thing I don't like about it is that Blue doesn't have a shock absorber for it yet. So if somebody watches this who works for Blue Microphones, get on that. Get this thing a shock absorber. So, uh, yeah, mouse, I think I might have shown you this already, but G500S has a couple buttons on the side. You know, go forward, go back. Uh, nice scroll wheel. Uh, you can change the... Um, sort of type of scroll wheel you want it to be as well. There's also some additional buttons here you can use. But uh, it's a good standard gaming mouse and also works well with this sort of trackpad with like a control surface. So yeah, that's about it. That's the uh, new setup. So let's see it once it's all put together. Okay, so we're in the middle of the install now and yeah, you see we got the CPU installed. There it is right there. Pretty simple install that. I uh, just want to show you guys something cool. Uh, these heat sinks right here, right, right there, the ones I'm touching right there, they're shaped like a dragon head. So you see like the black dragon head here, the mouth there, and then there's like a flare with that red on top there. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. And there's also one right there. You can probably see that one a little bit better, uh, shaped like a dragon. And then the RAM I got looks pretty good with this red. It's like almost the exact same shade of red. So pretty happy with that. Next step, uh, probably the hardest step, we got to install this heat sink, Evo 212. It's a big heat sink. There's part of the fan over there. I took that off. But, uh, yeah, we got everything sort of, yeah, laid out and ready to go. So, going to keep going here. Okay, so here's the build fully complete now. Let me sort of go through uh, some of the individual components. Uh, tell you what I like and I don't like. Um, so first of all, the cable management. Um, I think I did pretty well with the cable management here. You see we got the motherboard cable back here. Um, there are a bunch of SATA cables going in right here. Um, let's see, we got... The, the only cable I don't really like is actually this one right here. This is the CPU cord. And there's not really a whole lot I can do about that. I tried to make it, you know, run along the top somehow, but it didn't really fit there. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, yeah, I got the heatsink installed here with the fan, uh, GTX 970 right along here. Uh, this is the power cord for the GTX. Uh, power supply here, hard drives here. Uh, this case has a really nice way to sort of take out the hard drives. Just pop them out, you don't have to take out any screws or anything. Same thing with the solid state drive that's on the back right around this area here. I just simply hold down a clamp and it pops right out. Optical disk drive connected up up here. There's the RAM sticks, the fan, uh, more fans, and yeah, pretty good build, pretty simple to do. Uh, obviously, you know, you have your audio connections down here, um, power supply, LEDs, stuff like that in there. 
So yeah, pretty happy with this build, and now the only thing left to do is to plug it in and see how quickly it boots up. Alright, so we are now ready to turn this sucker on, so let's go ahead and walk on over here, and we will turn the camera around. There we go, we got a little bit of lens flare going on. But here is the monitor, this is the Asus monitor. Um, you see it's currently on, here's the keyboard, Razer keyboard, let me bring it up into the light a little bit. There you go, you got a nice big bezel down here, so when you're typing, you can rest your hand right on that. Mouse over here, there's our microphone, and it is plugged in uh, via USB port in the front. And then, yeah, that's inside of the case, uh, it's a little bit reflective, but you can see right there, one LED from the GTX 970. So let's go ahead and turn on this thing. Uh, this power button is actually pretty neat, uh, this side is actually the power, this side is actually the hard drive LED. So it'll turn on and off as the hard drive spins. Or in this case, yeah, reads because it's SSD. So let's see how quickly it turns on. There's the keyboard turning on. Nice green LEDs. And we should be into the OS within, you know, about five seconds. So there it is starting up. So one, two, three, and we're in. There we go. And we're connected to the web. Sweet. So, yeah. That's uh, that's the new computer setup right there. Looks pretty cool. Also, while it's running, uh, you can see there are some hot pink LEDs in the back for the uh, HD audio stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, old setup is right here with the uh, yeah the uh, Samsung monitor and just stock keyboard and upgraded HP desktop. So I could do like a dual monitor setup uh, in the future. But uh, yeah, it's looking looking pretty cool. I really like it, uh, so let me just go ahead and turn the camera around again. Uh, so, hopefully you guys enjoyed this setup video. Uh, if you did, uh, please do leave a like, and we can do more in the future. Uh, I am looking to do a little bit more real life stuff because there's more to life than gaming, or is there? Am I right? No, uh, but seriously, I do want to do some more uh, in real life stuff. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.